diabetes is a problem for many Americans. There are approximately one million new diabetes patients a year. Fortunately, there are things that can be done to reduce one's chances of developing diabetes or at least delay its onset by 10 to 15 years or longer. Prediabetes is the stage before patients develop type 2 diabetes. This means the patient's blood sugar tests are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diabetes. There are 41 million people who have prediabetes in this country, and if patients with prediabetes are not careful, their condition can evolve into permanent diabetes. When people avoid the risk factors for diabetes, they may lower their chance of developing the condition. Obesity is one of the risk factors for diabetes. Exercising regularly and eating healthy meals can help fight both obesity and diabetes. So we know that even mild exercise, such as walking three or four times a week, if they do it 30 to 40 minutes per day, can have a major impact in decreasing the conversion rate of uh, pre-diabetic state to diabetic state. Exercise will, will, one, help you lose weight, which is a good side effect, because the weight loss actually makes their, their body less insulin resistant, so that the insulin that they are producing works better, and so that helps control their blood sugar. The second thing with exercise is that it actually makes their muscles more sensitive to the insulin, so again, also helping lower the blood sugar. Family history is another risk factor for diabetes. So a family history of diabetes is a pretty strong risk factor for developing diabetes. It probably increases your risk about twice versus the general population. Like family history, age is a risk factor that cannot be controlled. People over the age of 45 are more likely to develop diabetes. Gestational diabetes is another risk factor. Gestational diabetes is when a woman develops diabetes during pregnancy. This condition is rare. About 135,000 women develop it a year. After the child is delivered, the diabetes will disappear, although women have a two in three chance that it will happen again with future pregnancies, and there is a chance that diabetes will return permanently. You find that within five years, about 60 to 70 percent of them uh, will eventually develop diabetes. But even with many risk factors, diabetes doesn't have to be inevitable. It can be prevented or delayed for many years if patients keep their weight under control and make sure to get regular exercise. Following a healthy lifestyle is the best defense against developing this disease. So with diet and exercise, all of that will help them reach the optimal blood sugar levels that they're looking for.